Convention on the International Regulation for Preventing Collisions at Sea. Introduction and Guidelines The International Regulation for Preventing Collisions at Sea, also known as Colregs 72, is a multilateral agreement that establishes the rules of conduct during navigation. This convention was closed in London in 1972, but only entered into effect in 1977, and it's divided into Ship Lights and Daytime Signals Priorities in Navigation The Sound Signals for Maneuvering in Fog The distress signals. The regulation applies to all ships on the high seas and in all waters communicating with it. This means that the sphere of application includes any type of unit, including air cushion units and seaplanes. used as a means of transport on water, who sail at sea, ports, rivers, lakes or inland waterways communicating with the high seas and accessible to sea navigation. For the correct understanding of the rules for preventing collisions, it is appropriate to specify the meaning of words and expressions whose exact interpretation could be difficult even for the most attentive reader. For this purpose we observe that the word, ship, designates any type of construction used or capable of being used as a means of transport on water. The expression, vessel underway, means any unit that is not at anchor, to the mooring or aground. The word, headway, indicates the movement of inertia given to the boat once the thrust given to it by the sails or the engine is finished. The expression, mechanically propelled ship, designates any unit moved exclusively by engine. The expression, sailing ship, indicates each unit moved by sails, even if equipped with an engine not in use at the moment. The expression, fishing vessel, indicates a vessel fishing with gear that reduce its ability to maneuver. The expression, ship that does not steer, indicates any unit that, due to a failure, is unable to maneuver to move away from the course of another ship. The expression, ship with limited maneuverability, indicates any unit that, due to the work performed, has limited maneuvering capacity, ships engaged in hydrographic operations, in submarine works, in refueling operations, ships that carry out towing operations particularly demanding, and therefore cannot easily depart from the course of another ship. The expression, vessel conditioned by its draft, indicates any unit that, due to its own immersion and the depth of the water, cannot deviate from its route. Do you want to see all the videos on sailing at sea? Subscribe to the channel. Bye.